Watch how incredibly smooth this grid to list animation feels. And the best part? You can build this entire effect in just 20 lines of JavaScript using GSAP Flip. Hey everyone, today I'm breaking down one of my most requested animations, that professional grid and list view toggle that feels buttery smooth and responsive. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to use GSAP Flip to capture and animate layout changes, create seamless transitions between grid and list views, add proper accessibility with area attributes, and even save user preferences with local storage. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right in and start with our clean HTML structure. Let me walk you through our HTML structure. We start with a body tag that has a data theme attribute set to Quartz Indigo. This is how we'll handle different color schemes through CSS variables, making theme switching incredibly simple. Next, we have a toolbar section with our view toggle buttons. Notice the is active class on the grid button. This indicates the current view state. Each button has a data view attribute that we'll use in our JavaScript to know which view to switch to. I'm using proper area attributes like role equals group and area label to make this accessible for screen readers. The card section has an area label describing it as a job list. These small details make our UI inclusive for all users. Each card is an article with clear semantic sections, header for the job info, unordered list for tags, and footer for actions. This structure not only makes sense for accessibility, but also gives us clean hooks for our CSS and JavaScript. Finally, I'm loading GSAP Core and the Flip plugin. These will handle all our smooth layout transitions between grid and list views without any janky jumps or awkward transitions. Let me walk you through the CSS at a high level. And don't worry, I'll provide the full source code so we can focus on the logic. First, notice our theme system using CSS custom properties. The data theme equals quartz indigo attribute controls all our colors through variables like BG, panel, and accent. This makes theme switching incredibly simple. Just change one attribute. By the way, if you want to master theme switching like we're using with our data theme attribute, I have a dedicated video that breaks it down completely. Check out how to build a dark mode theme with CSS on my channel. It covers CSS custom properties, theme toggling, and maintaining user preferences, which perfectly complements what we're building here. The dot toolbar uses sticky positioning with backdrop blur for that modern glass effect, while dot card starts as a three column grid that responsively collapses to two columns, then one column on smaller screens. Each card is a self-contained component with Flexbox layout using our CSS variables for consistent spacing and shadows. The is active class on buttons toggles the accent colors, providing clear visual feedback. We have media queries that handle the grid layout at different breakpoints, but the real magic happens with our accessibility features. The structure is clean, accessible, and ready for our JavaScript magic. Now let's look at what happens when we add the isList class to our cards container. This single class triggers a complete layout transformation from grid to list view. The magic happens with CSS grid areas. We define three equal columns and assign specific areas, head for the job info, tags for the categories, and foot for the action buttons. Each card component becomes a horizontal row with these three sections aligned perfectly. The card top section moves to the left, tags center themselves, and the footer shifts to the right without the top border since we're in a horizontal layout now. What's beautiful about this setup is that we're not just hiding and showing elements, we're completely reflowing the content in a semantic way. The same HTML structure works perfectly in both layouts, which is exactly what GSAP Flip needs to create those smooth transitions. So if I manually add isList class to the cards container, the grid layout will become the list layout, but the transition and smoothness is missing here. Now let's dive into the JavaScript that makes this all work. First, I'm registering the Flip plugin with GSAP. This is essential, so GSAP knows we'll be using these advanced layout animation capabilities. Now I'm grabbing the key elements we need. I'm getting the cards container by its ID and both toggle buttons using their data view attributes. Using data view attributes is cleaner than classes or IDs for this purpose. It's semantic, readable, and makes our JavaScript more maintainable since we're describing what these buttons do rather than how they look. Now I'm creating a comprehensive CSS selector string that targets all the elements we want to animate during our layout transition. This isn't just about animating the cards container. We need to track the cards internal components too. The top section, tags, bottom footer, brand logo, and buttons all need to transition smoothly between layouts. Now I'm creating the setActive function. This is the brain of our entire operation. 
It's going to handle everything that happens when a user switches between grid and list views. Inside our function, first I determine if we're switching to list view, then immediately capture the current layout state using flip.getState. I'm telling GSAP to track opacity and transform properties specifically for smoother animations. Next, I toggle the isList class on our cards container. This instantly changes the CSS layout from grid to list. Now I call flip.from with our captured state. This tells GSAP to animate from that original state to the new layout. The simple true optimizes performance while absolute, false, and prune, false ensure all elements animate correctly. Finally, I update the button states, toggling the active class and setting area pressed attributes for accessibility. This gives users clear visual feedback about which view is currently active while keeping everything accessible. So the sequence is capture, toggle, animate, update. This creates that seamless experience where everything happens in perfect sync. The layout transforms smoothly while the UI updates instantly. Now I'm wiring up our toggle buttons with event listeners. When someone clicks the grid button, it calls set active grid and the list button calls set active list. This approach keeps our code clean and readable. Instead of writing separate functions for each button, we're using the same set active function and just passing different parameters. Now our entire system is connected. User clicks a button, which triggers the state capture, layout change, smooth animation, and UI update, all in one seamless flow. It's responsive, accessible, and feels incredibly polished. Now I'm adding one final touch, remembering the user's view preference. When the page loads, I check local storage for any previously saved view setting. If the user previously chose list view, I automatically call set active list to restore their preference. This creates a personalized experience where the app remembers how they like to see their content. Every time a user clicks either button, I save their choice to local storage using the button's data view attribute. This happens seamlessly in the background without any extra steps for the user. Now our grid to list toggle is fully production ready. It's smooth, accessible, remembers user preferences, and provides that professional polish that makes users feel like they're using a well-crafted application. Here's the entire concept in one sentence. Create your first layout, create a second layout with a modifier class, then use GSAP Flip to toggle between them. And Flip handles all the complex calculations and transitions automatically. First, build your default grid layout. Second, create your alternative layout with a class like isList. Third, use GSAP Flip to capture both states and animate between them with one function call. You don't need to calculate positions, sizes, or transforms manually. Flip captures the before and after states, then handles all the math to create that smooth, professional transition between any two layouts. If this approach to layout animations clicked for you, make sure to subscribe for more content that simplifies complex web development concepts. Drop a comment with what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you in the next video.